Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and today we just got uh, a bit of a random random video for you guys. I got uh, six kind of oddball Johnny Lightnings. Um, we're just going to crack all of them, take a look at them and uh, I just picked them up at a consignment shop. Um, I paid roughly $4 a piece for each one of these. Some of them are a little cheaper than that. Some, I think one of them is like $2.50, one of them is like uh, $3.50 or something. Anyway, I uh, picked up six of them, six Johnny Lightnings, all from different series and all pretty wildly different. We're just going to just take a look at them for fun. So, uh, without further ado, we got this one first. We've got the 1995 Chevy Impala SS and the Modern Muscle Release 2. Um, let's see, I was trying to figure out what era Johnny Lightning this was, it looks like learning curve, I'm not really, I'm not familiar with the history of Johnny Lightning as far as how many times they've changed hands and all that stuff, I don't really get wrapped up in that, but, uh, saw this and thought this was a pretty cool casting, um, looks like it's RC2 brands at that time, is what it appears to be, this is copyright date 2007, there were the other cars in the series, and let's go ahead and free the piece on this. This one we got to cut. It's all on clamshell. And there we go. Paint's in pretty good condition. There's your Chevy Impala SS. But it says 1995 Chevy Caprice on the uh, base. But of course, there's the Impala SS right there. Pretty cool casting. It's got uh, rubber tires with tread, all metal construction, uh, no opening hood or anything like that. We've got uh, reflective paint for the taillight detail, painted headlights. Huh. Overall, it's pretty cool. It's kind of small for scale, maybe. But uh, there's that one. So uh, that's number one here that I got. Then we got this guy right here. This is the CU CV2 Carrier Cargo Trooper. This is in the Lightning Brigade, Johnny Lightning. Replicas of famous American military vehicles. Uh, bonus sticker of a real military patch. Um, let's see here. Here's where the, the other ones in the series are up here. So, it'd be cool to get the M1A1 tank. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, let's see if we can find a date on here. Uh, da -da, 2001. So, there's that. So, that's pretty cool. There's just a look around the packaging. We're going to go ahead and read a piece. Sticker. So, that pretty neat. And then we got this pretty cool little Chevy truck is really what it is. Let's see if the name is on the base. Anything? Nothing. Got playing mantis on it. Hood opens. No painted detail in there, but detailed piece. Um, we do get rubber tires with tread and this nice kind of khaki colored truck. So I thought it was a pretty just nice looking basic uh, truck casting. So I picked it up. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, just looks pretty nice. Just kind of an interesting little Johnny Lightning. So. There's that. All right, so next up, let's take a look at this one. This is the third one here out of the six that I bought. It's a Pontiac GTO, 1971 Pro Street. Pretty sweet. This one um, was in, the I guess, the G GTO series, and here's where the six, this six cars in the series. Uh, copyright date on this one is 2001. So we're going to go ahead and free the piece on this one. No little extra anything you get with that. And here it is. Got a nice uh, metal flake red paint job. Uh, no opening features. This is a separate piece though up here. Looks like you got a roll cage in there. You got plastic tires. All metal construction. Just a pretty cool looking GTO. So I thought it was pretty sweet, so I picked this one up. So there's that one. And uh, then we got uh, number three, the 1966 Oldsmobile Tornado in the Poker Series 2, where you get a poker chip. 
And it looks like some cards. If you collect them all, maybe you'd have a whole Johnny Lightning deck of cards. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, here's all the ones in the series. So it shows all the ones in Series 1 and Series 2 on the back there. Uh, looks like RC2 era. Can we see a date on here? Looks like 2005. So let's go ahead and open up this one and take a look at it. Here's your poker chip. The cards. Let's see what we got. Oh, checklist for series two, and then we got a king and a queen suited. That's pretty, pretty sweet. All right, so here's the tornado. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's got like this uh, kind of heart design up here. This is like a Valentine's Day car almost. It's also got an image of a queen there on the side. Looks pretty sweet. Hood opens on this one. We got some detail in there. Pretty nice. Of course, as all Johnny Lightning got detailed, got tail lights. We've got uh, headlights there. It says Oldsmobile there. It says Thriver on the license plate. That's pretty sweet. And then uh, that felt interior that comes with the, all the poker ones. So. All these poker uh, cars come with that felt covering over the interior, which is pretty interesting. Um, so, really, really neat car. And there's your Tornado. So there's that. And then uh, next up, we got this one. This was the cheapest of the bunch, 250. Uh, the 59 DeSoto Fire Flight in the Johnny Lightning Street Freak series. Um, there was the other cars in the series. Uh, there's some zingers too, it looks like. And let's see here if we can find a date on this one. 2004. This is playing Mantis. Let's go ahead and take this out. Got a card there. And then we got our car. And there this is. Um, this one has plastic tires. With those funky rims funky paint job uh, no opening features on this one but it does look pretty cool nonetheless we got detail all the way around of course metal metal it's a pretty neat little car so I picked that up for 250 can't go wrong so there's that and then uh, the last of the six we got is this beast mobile which is pretty sweet it's like Chevy Monte Carlo. Um, one of only 20,000, so very limited. <laughs> and this was in the Johnny Lightning Hot Rods. Authentic replicas of real street rods. Collector number one, Beastmobile by Keith Eichert. Limited edition number on chassis. So we'll have to see what number we got. Um, here's the back of the card. Here's the other cars in the series. Playing Mantis. Um, what is the date on this one looking for a copyright day why can't I find it is there no date on the back of this interesting I can't find the date on it all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, crack it open you get this uh, pog so there's that and here is the car pretty sweet uh, green Kind of metal flake paint job. We got a little small paint flaw right up there in the front. No big deal. We got plastic tires, funky rims. And let's see. No name of the casting on the base. Kind of a wacky one, um, but pretty cool nonetheless. So I just thought this was interesting to pick up. I picked up these six cars there, and they're all just kind of different. Johnny Lightning. So Johnny Lightning does some wacky stuff, and I uh, just kind of wanted to show some of that. We've got, uh, like this, it's pretty neat. The other ones in this military series are probably pretty cool, like the tank and stuff like that. Having a Johnny Lightning tank would be really neat. Um, this one's cool. You know, it's just all different. they got a lot of variety. So maybe almost too much variety, and maybe that's why... Um, it didn't last long, and now they're coming back now with only three different series instead of, like, a thousand different ones. So, 
there it is. Um, probably my favorite out of the bunch might actually be this uh, tornado. I think it's pretty nice. It's a really nice looking casting. Um, but these other ones are pretty neat too. And that's going to be about it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And have a great day.